Hello folks and welcome to an inkdependence.com brief area review and water drop test. This time we have a new ink and a new brand for the blog. This is Toucan's Crimson. It is Toucan like the bird. These inks are generally only sold in Australia, but as of very recently, andersonpens.com has picked up the brand. They are, as far as I know, uh, the only U.S. distributor of or source of Toucan Crimson. So if you want some Toucan inks, go and get them. I have uh, a whole bunch of samples. The Andersons were kind enough to send me the entire line and samples, and so you'll be seeing those on the blog uh, well, in the near future, really. This is the first one that I've used, uh, and it's not my favorite yet, but there are some other ones in here that are great. Toucan Crimson is a little bit too pale, and that's really my only complaint about this thing. It's a little bit thin. It's not quite saturated enough for me uh, to be a crimson. It is, however, a really nice kind of light red. It's not really a pink. Uh, as you can see here, I don't really have any pinks lined up, but it's not a pink, it's just kind of a light red, so that's neat. If that's the kind of color you're looking for, then go ahead and grab that. One good thing about having a not super saturated light red kind of ink is that all the Toucan inks are made to be mixed together, uh, just like the Platinum Mix Freeze, but a lot cheaper. And uh, so if you want to make your own mixes, you don't want them to be crazy saturated from the get-go, or else it's going to be hard to mix them. So. Uh, that's a really good reason to keep it sort of unsaturated. You can see how it um, compares to some other colors here, notably Toucan Scarlet, which I really like quite a lot, uh, which is a far darker red. It seems more like crimson to me, but what do I know? Um, and then the Pilot Petit 2, the Preppy, uh, Lavender's Fireball. The thing about Fireball is when you leave it in a pen for very long, it turns kind of darker. Uh, so Fireball right now is kind of the same color as this Ackerman 18 that I only just loaded up. That's why I put it in the very bottom here. It's kind of a brick red. But this is a light red, so um, neat. It's a great ink. I've got no problems with it, aside from it's just a little bit too light for me. So that quibble aside, let's see how it does with water. And there we go. Shh, Scrabble, Scraggles. I call my dog's wrong name. All right. And while this is sitting there, she, you know, she's yipping at a cat. No big deal. Shh, Scraggles. I'm making a video here. Silly goose. All right. So, wipe that away. And actually, better than I thought it was going to be. It did kind of soak through the paper a little bit here. This Rhodia paper is not as, um, doesn't seem as water resistant as the uh, dot pads I was used to using. But nonetheless, we've got quite a lot of pink left over here. Get something closer here. Yeah, quite a lot of pink left over. I'm a little surprised. Um, so, you know, cool. It did come away completely in a few spots. So this is not going to be exactly water resistant, but I've seen worse. The uh, pink bit on the corner there is uh, what came loose. So here's the chromatography right here. And it's kind of, as you would expect, a light pinkish. It's not quite carnation, except down here at the bottom, but it is not the darkest red. If you're looking for a darker red, go for the Toucan Scarlet or uh, lots of other reds, but this one, not so much. We'll have uh, another red coming up next that's going to be much darker, and that one, oddly enough, is called pink, even though it's, well, to me, seems red. Pardon me, it seems red. Hmm, yeah, pick up coming right in the middle of the talking. So, there you go, that's the uh, chromatography. This has been Toucan Scarlet. Sorry, Crimson. Ugh, so happens when you do too many red names all in a row. Thanks again to Anderson Pins for sending this ink to me to try out. Uh, the uh, ink was provided by Anderson Pins, Brian and Lisa, fantastic folks. I did the review all on my own, however. If you like what I do here at inkdependence.com and on the YouTube channel, please do head over to patreon.com slash inkdependence to see how you can help me out to keep this sucker going. So, thanks very much. Take care. This is Toucan Simpson. Oh man, Toucan Crimson and I'll see you around.